Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers, JJ the Trucker here. And check this out. If you thought the last video was something special, wait till you see this one. You thought I was close to Mexico in the last video. First of all, if you haven't seen the last video, you gotta go check it out. Pause it right here. Go check out the last video. You can't miss it, <laughs> all right? Go check it out because that's gonna lead up to this video. And check this out, look where I'm at. Oh, man. Check it out. This is the wall. Let me turn this around here. Here we are. We are at the wall. Look how tall this thing is. Ooh, I'm not scaling that thing. Uh-uh. And then if you happen to, then you got to go through this area right here. Let me squeeze on here. All right. And go to that side. Now, here's the thing. What do you think's on that side? You think it's the, uh, you think it's Mexico? It's not. It's the United States over there. That's right, I am in Los Algodones, Baja California, Mexico. That's right, everybody, I am actually in Mexico. Um, this is the American dental capital of the, of the world, uh, or something like that. It's I don't know what the exact title is, but um, this place is just tons of dentists and optometrists and drugstores. <laughs> it's easy to get to. Uh, it's right by Yuma, uh, Yuma, Arizona. And walking in was cakewalk. They they check your bag uh, if you if you're carrying one, and that is it. You're you're in. You are in Mexico. Uh, there's parking. Uh, I'll tell you about the truck parking here in a minute. Uh, now to get back to the United States, that's a different story. You see this line right here? This line of people and this line of cars. Yeah, it's it's about two to two and a half hours I've heard to get all the way up there let me zoom in for you so you got this line of people here all the way up to that gate right there and that's where you got to show your passport and get back in now if you have a real ID or an enhanced ID uh, they'll take it so not a big deal if you do not have a passport uh, they will still take it uh, to get you back in if you know, of course you're American and you you know Seem like you really are American. I'm sure there's some stipulations there and the line of cars uh, Line of cars doesn't seem well. It goes around the corner. I don't know how how far that goes uh, But man, we are gonna check this place out. Um, I'm here just in time for lunch uh, But look at this. They got all sorts of doctor's offices uh, Hormones pharmacies uh, dentists everywhere even even driving along I-10 as you're approaching Yuma there's just signs everywhere for dentistry trust us use this one no this one's better we're the best Ch you know check our ratings it's just absolutely nuts um, so yeah we're gonna check this place out I am due for a dental cleaning I've talked to a, a few people here already about the dentists and uh, people who have actually been here before and uh, he said it, it's good. It's it's high quality. So I might check that out and let you know. But I'm going to take you guys along with me. Um, I'm going to go uh, find a place to eat. And uh, we'll start there, all right? Oh, oh, real quick thing on uh, truck parking. So there is a huge parking lot down here uh, right by the border entrance. That's where I was going to park. The problem is as soon as I'm coming over, uh, you know, past this, this casino that's uh, that's off to the side... And right before the parking area is a bridge going over the All-American Canal. And while I'm talking, I'll let you uh, view this scenery here. Uh, so there's a bridge going over the All-American All, uh, Canal. And it's a 20-ton weight limit. Well, my bobtail truck itself is 10 tons. My trailer is about 6 tons, empty. And I'm carrying about 15 tons worth of freight. You do the math on that. So, uh... Yeah, wow, this is some interesting stuff right here. Uh, so anyways, what did I do? I had to, fortunately, there was a spot to turn right then and there as soon as I saw that sign. And I was turning right into the uh, casino parking lot. And uh, the casino parking lot has a big old truck parking area. And I saw what everybody else was doing. Dropping the trailer. <laughs> so I dropped the trailer. I've got one of those... Uh, fifth wheel locks i've got a, an airline cuff airline lock and everything and uh man that is cool right there Woo. you know anybody who 
loves tequila and six shooters. Man, look at these. Uh, so anyways, yeah, dropped the, dropped the trailer and then drove the bobtail over the bridge into the parking. Uh, now they say parking is, uh, on the sign it says parking for commercial vehicles is $12 and then overnight parking is an, is an extra 10. When I got there, she only charged me $8 plus two extra dollars for overnight. So 10 bucks for, uh, for overnight parking. Um, I'm probably not gonna be parking there overnight. I'll probably uh, head back to the casino and get with the trailer, but you never know, you know, when you go to a place like this, you know, what you may do. <laughs> I may, you know, have a little too much of this stuff and say, well, I'm not driving the bobtail even up the street. So I wouldn't do that. So, wow, this is some crazy stuff right here. I this Oh, by the way, it's my first time out of the U.S., uh, really. So uh, I'll tell you all about that later. Let's go find us a place to eat. All right, found us a place to eat, Mocha's Tacos. And uh, if you don't like the food, you don't pay. <laughs> That's what their slogan is. So we're going to check this place out. It was recommended. Uh, we'll check it out. So I've already made, uh, let me step in the shade here. So I've already made uh, a couple of fatal mistakes. Um, obviously not really fatal. I'm still alive. But um, number one, I took a wrong turn. I was trying to get to this place and uh, missed the turn. Ended up going into uh, the, the main part of town, the non-touristy place. And uh, yeah, where the school was let now, tons of traffic. Fortunately, it was where that line of cars was, uh, you know, going back to the US. Uh, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, in that line, I said it was, it didn't seem too long. Oh, it was long. Yeah, it was about uh, three or four miles long. So I was way out of the way. Uh, ended up making a full circle. So I got the, the real tourist view, the inside view. Uh, and wow, interesting, but uh, I don't recommend that. Stay in the touristy area. Uh, second, it's like 85 degrees here, okay? It's currently um, Pi Day, uh, 314, March 14th. Happy Pi Day, everybody. Uh, oh, sorry about that. And uh, it's hot, the sun is out, there's not a lot of shade. And um, I'm a redhead, I I'm white, I'm wearing my shorts. Okay, watch out, the warning. Put on your sunglasses, dim the, uh, the, the the screen here. Look at this, I got some white legs. <laughs> so yeah, I had to stop into a, a pharmacia and pick up some sunblock, uh, which I did and liberally applied that stuff. So anyways, we'll let that soak in while uh, I'm eating. Be right back. <laughs> All right, that food was good. Definitely paid for it. It was great, um, and it was cheap too. I got uh, two of these big old iced teas, uh, plus three tacos with tons of meat in them. And they're street tacos, but loaded with meat. Uh, they were they were basically eat with a fork type of tacos. Um, all that for ten bucks. Good deal. Uh, so now I'm back uh, in the shopping area here, and uh, you can see behind me these uh, basically our shopping corridors. And you go in. And uh, here, let me take you into this one here. There we go. All right. So from the outside, doesn't look like anything. But you go inside, and there's just tons of stuff to buy. But a lot of these vendors do have the same stuff. And all the vendors, oh, they are aggressive. <laughs> They're pushy. Uh, jewelry, T-shirts, um, ponchos, bags, uh, wallets. Uh, sunglasses so and belts uh, let's see some shoes and sandals and stuff like that bags lots of bags lots and lots of bags and uh and yeah and see it all the way through and all these shops too I do like this one though <laughs> that's perfect all right let's see what else we got here and uh, I'll be back all right, guys, check this out. Okay, um, Senor, como se llama? Pancho. 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 Perfect. And look what yeah. he's doing. He I is work. hand I making. Work. I work in this, in this thing. He is hand making these, custom made. And this is what they look like when he's all done. Look at that. 
absolutely beautiful or bracelets let me get out of the glare of the sun here so you can see the bracelets um yeah that's pretty cool so everybody a lot of these places have the same exact thing but every once in a while you'll run into something somebody like this and uh poncho is doing all of this by hand dance, in there. right there for you Oops. Yes. all right Wow, and then uh, a little bit further down, they, you know, those bracelets that, um, like for kids that have your name on it, um, I'm getting a couple made for my uh, uh, niece and nephew over there as well. I'll show you those in a moment. Whew, I've been shopping around, and uh, wow, these street vendors, I tell you, they are aggressive. Aggressive! Man, they will follow you around. <laughs> They'll do. Uh, they're just like, no, just look, just look, just look. I have this, I have this, and they all have the same thing. Uh, not all of them, obviously, but uh, a lot of them do. And so it is interesting to find something unique. And I found a few unique things that were really cool. But check this out. So I found out when it comes to the dentistry, they call this Molar City. And let me show you why. So here's one of those uh, maps of the, uh, of the city. And they've got, you know, your hotels, your restaurants, your, your pharmacies, your optics. And then they've got the dentists. Look at all these dentists here. <laughs> this is just too many. How do you decide which dentist to go see? That is just absolutely nuts. Way too many. <laughs> I think there's more dentists here in this city than I've ever, than I've seen in in the entire state of Texas and Arizona and New Mexico combined. Whew. All right. Well, let's keep going. Definitely gotta try this. Churros made by hand, right there. Oh, check that out. Definitely gotta try those. I'll let you know how they are. All right, got me some churros. And uh, places are starting to close up. There, see they're closing the gates. Uh, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. So, you know what that means. Time to head back to the truck. Let's go ahead and, uh, Hop in this line, shall we? Let's see. I think we'll cut across over here. Whoo, mm -hmm. trash is overflowing. Looks like a truck stop. All right. Let's see. Let's go. Let's keep going. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, man. Yeah, line keeps going. Uh, this person selling water. Uh, I can probably head out here and hopefully there's a place to cut back in without going all the way to the back. But man, look at this line. So, wow. Let me uh, go around here. It's kind of you walk where you can type of deal. Um, I will tell you this. Whew. That's a bit loud. So that's not only in the states that that happens <laughs> um, I will tell you this though you know being that I'm in Mexico and even though I'm you know trying to practice my Spanish and all that stuff because you know when in Mexico the people here the locals speak really good English they speak better English than some people in uh, in many I should say in uh, <laughs> in the in the U.S. So all right, come back in here and oh, there we go. Back here with the vendors who will push me for some hats and more jewelry, more jewelry, more jewelry. Whew. All right. So we'll see how long we're in this line. I'll uh, update you guys when we are uh, all done. That's the way to travel, right there. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back in the States. Oh, there's the wall from the other side. So the line was about an hour and a half long. I had heard that it was like two, two and a half hours long. It was about an hour and a half long. I got into it about a uh, quarter after four. Um, and then now by the time we got all the way up to the front of the line, the line was empty. So lesson learned, wait until about 5.30. You know, go have another margarita, a couple more shots, <laughs> enjoy. Uh, cause, uh, 530, that line cleared out. But yeah, it took forever to get through, man. Otherwise, 
Uh, so, but not too terribly bad. But while you're stuck in line, those vendors are coming up to you and man, they just, that was, I'd say the one downside about coming is the, the vendors that just, man, they will not take no for an answer. They will bug and bug and bug and just keep going. Uh, it's, it's, that was the downside, but otherwise it was fantastic. I got some souvenirs for the family. Uh, uh, good prices, really good prices. So, yeah, definitely something I would do again. Um, and I, while I was in line talking to a lot of people who were there getting their dental work done, they say they do fantastic job there. So, yeah, I'm, I may, you know, come back here and get my dental work done. Cleaning is 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a cleaning. And the offices, I did get a, a chance to look inside real quick. Um, they're nice, state of the art offices. Everybody I talked to said, yeah, they're state of the art you know, perfectly good, just like, just like in America. So I may do that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the journey with me as always. And, uh, there I am back there. There's the bobtail, my babe. And, uh, until next time, guys, I will see. I'll let you know what, what adventures we got coming up next. Bye-bye.